Hey folks, this is Exo. I am here to show off something I made in Scrap Mechanic. I think this is the first of its kind on YouTube, but I haven't looked very far. Or hard. So, I've just been busy playing the game. So, this is basically a multi platter hard drive, CD ROM drive sort of thing. It's not. Um, Vertical. It's more like a music box, really. But we don't have note blocks in Scrap Mechanic like we do in Minecraft, so I can't do the same sorts of things. Uh, basically, the way it works is every other level, uh, I've stacked blocks to act as signals, like on or off. Uh, and I've had, I've got um, just scaffolding on the levels in between. You can do it without scaffolding; just fill in every layer and. Uh, fill it in, then you don't have to do it every other. This is just easier to build. You can pretty much stack it as high as you want, and uh, you can make the circumference, so the length of uh, signal as long as you want, by just increasing the diameter of the circle and making it go off into the distance. Uh, but when you run it, it more or less looks like this. I hooked up uh, well, half of an arm. It can't go in the reverse direction. So I'd have to do another three platters for this, and it's 3 a.m. if I wanted to do that. Uh, so this is great for making um, sort of semi-complicated things that you can't do with the controller. I found that the controller ends up being very limited in terms of exactly what you can do with it, and it has the limit on how long it can be, uh, the 10 steps. So, if you find yourself needing to do something like this in a stationary environment, uh, then this is a great way to do it. Yeah, not much more than that, just watching things move around. Hope you enjoyed. Farewell.